Single file line on me. Tag stay here. Nothing comes with you. Hands in there. Go. Single file. Sheriff's office, hands up. Good morning, this is Marion County Public Schools with an emergency message. There has been a Forest Play School. One student was injured and taken to the hospital. Another student is in custody. The station is completely locked down. Parents, please do not resource high school. We are reunifying students with their parents at First Baptist of Ocala. That's First Church of Ocala on Southeast Maricamp Road. I urge you to go there now because you cannot get on the camp. And Maricamp Road is virtually blocked. And for, again, one student was injured and taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The other is in custody. Law enforcement has a heavy presence on the scene. 39 this morning. Uh, our SRO, our school resource officer, uh, heard what he uh, believed to be a large, loud bang sound gunshot. Uh, and then immediately at 842, he was immediately on scene and engaged the activity that was going on, recognized what we had at that time, and then uh, found the victim, which is a 17 year old student currently here at Forest High School. Uh, and then within that same time frame, he engaged the shooter, which is a 19-year-old non-student uh, that was here on campus. Uh, he did not, obviously, the, sus the suspect is in custody at this time. Now, in Marion County, Forest High School is our second largest high school in the county with over 2,000 students. And I want to make something clear, and I want to assure the Marion County residents that today they should be proud of their first responders. As a lot of you that are here saw, hundreds of law enforcement immediately responded, did not hesitate, went in, and I already given you the time frame. Basically in three minutes, engaged the shooter, took him into custody. Not only law enforcement, but our fire rescue, who came immediately as well. I commend also the school system for their protocols in place, because what they put in place saved lives today. Our victim has non-life-threatening injuries, and he is doing fine. And um, I cannot express to you from Marion County how proud I am of law enforcement today in Marion County. And I want to assure the Marion County residents about the other schools. We actively have law enforcement patrolling and is being present on the campuses throughout this county. And they will be there for the entire day. And also that any, any threat we will not ignore or any rumor we will not take for granted. We will immediately respond and act accordingly. And I will stop right there and open up the floor. How was the shooter neutralized by the school resource officer? He was taken into custody. Was he tackled? Was he struggled? No, he was not tackled. Um, he didn't offer any resistance. Was this a former student? That, I can't give you the answer right now because of what the investigation on it. Some of it we don't know, so but, uh, currently a lot of the information we don't have. Was it a targeted shooting? We do not know that as of right now. Is there any indication at this point whether it was even intentional or not? Uh, it was intentional. What kind of weapon did he use? 
that? That right now we're not releasing because we're still investigating. Is there okay. any idea how he brought that weapon on the floor? Book bag. Can't answer that one right now. How did he get on campus? Can't answer that one right now either. Did the two know each other? Can't answer that one. I'm sorry. I know that I'm saying a lot, but I can't answer. I need everybody to understand. Although that we have come to a safe conclusion, all right, it is still an investigation. And there's a lot of details that we don't know. And we'd rather you, the media, have the correct information. Didn't it happen in the hallway, in a classroom, with I'll be nice, in that building. Is there anyone else injured at all? Anyone around? Anyone? No, ma'am. There are no other injuries in this entire incident. Only the 117 year old. Yes, the school was in, in uh, progress, school was active, so yes, there were students. And I already told you how the students and the staff of our of the Marion County School System did a fabulous job of, of securing each of the uh, classrooms. They did it. That process combined, and, and let me make this clear, it wasn't just one entity, okay? It was the school system, it was law enforcement, and it was fire risk that saved lives today. Today, our children are alive because of those three things were in place. And Marion County should be proud of every single one of them. What about the rumors of other schools that there was gun schools? It's just like what I told you a minute ago. That, you know, when you got social media out here that, that wants to post and put things out that are not true. Now, contrary to what people believe, the internet is not always giving you the facts, okay? But however, like the schools in which you mentioned, when it comes across to us or if we're giving information, we're not going to ignore it. What I can tell you, there is nothing else in any other school that has occurred today. This is Doug Engel from the Star Banner. Um, parents were just told to go to First Baptist Church for staging to find out, I guess, um, more information about the shooting here at Forest High School. Hi everybody, this is Greg Foss for West 2 News and West.com and I'm outside the First Baptist Church of Ocala right now where parents are meeting their students uh, from Forest High School where there was a shooting earlier this morning of one student injured uh, with a leg wound in that shooting and another person is in custody, also a student. And you can see now hundreds of people outside the First Baptist Church uh, and again, parents picking up their students. Uh, we're talking with many of them who say they heard the shot, they 
they uh, explained what happened during the code red and the lockdown after that. We're going to have a complete report coming up on West 2 News. Matthew.